Good day, Lasallians. How are you today? I hope you're doing fine and staying safe and dry in this rainy season. Before we begin, I just want to remind you to please answer your pretest. It is located in Canvas quizzes or in the Canvas module. All right. Let's think and imagine in this that we are in this stage and let's think what performances can we see or can we watch here or can we perform in this stage maybe you're thinking of opera a recital a movie a theater play a musical play a singing performance an orchestra choral concerts and many more and why am asked why am i asking this let's also imagine that after this concert for example we have watched on this stage a concert and you're encouraged to answer an evaluation form regarding your comments and suggestions to improve the next performances of course we being an audience we are important part of the show right and we have to give at least good or either bad comments for improvement of this performance but how will we comment it in a proper way do we just have to say the concert is bad it's not good or it's very awesome wonderful terrific but let's be more technical let's be more deep in commenting or giving suggestions to this kind of performances so how will we comment it properly we use the elements of music so i hope you can still remember some of the elements of music that really gives the foundation the foundation of the whole music it means that you can change its speed it you can change its volume on how it will be arranged on how it will be harmonized on how the rhythm will work and everything. So these elements like dynamics, like tempo, form, harmony, melody, texture, and others are very important in such commenting a performance. Not only commenting a performance, but also um, performing itself, right? When you sing a song, when you dance, when you play an instrument, all the forms of art, you will have the elements. So these elements are very important to make your work or your performance better. Because you can say that um, the orchestra is very awesome. But why? Because um, the harmony of their composition is really created or was really created well the volume or the dynamics of the violin is just right it has a good texture because it was arranged well the instruments from the strings from the percussion arranged well that's how you will use the elements so next time when you watch a musical play or any performance you think of the elements how did you feel that emotion because of the elements it's whether it's sad or it's happy because of the elements used in those performance is that here all right so we're talking about now the music of the northern zone we will just focus on that part there is a chant called bagbagto and the bagbagto is very popular in the kalinga tribe or the Ibaloy tribe, which is just um, a children in a nonsense chant. Okay, maybe you're thinking that this is not is um this is not really important, but in this children, in this tribe, it is very important. It's part of their lives, and let's see what's what's within this tribe. Okay, let me just sing the bagbagto for you, and observe and listen. One, two, three, go. 
Buzz, buzz, so, buzz, buzz, so, lamb, beef, so, lamb, beef, so, lamb, bawi, tan, bawi, tan, bawi, kala, nai, kala, nai, kala, nai, punai. This bug bug to chat has a very long lyrics, but I just chose the first verse. Bug bug to is just um like nanay tatay in the Tagalogs, and it's for us Tagalogs very very important and very fun to us, right? And same with the ibaloy, they have the bug bug to. So let's appreciate what music they have and what music we have. In this video, um, I will also share the link to you so that you can easily um, view this video. But I'll be um, skipping this and I'll just give you the link. Watch it and then let's see. Let's see its classification, its features, and its function. If we say classification, let's um, group these instruments into their um, common features like these are strings, these are percussions, these are woodwinds, all right? And then the features, it is made, is this made from metal? Is this made from bamboos, from woods, from animal skin or anything? And functions will be the purpose of these instruments because you just don't create instruments just to have fun, but sometimes it has a deeper function or purpose, especially in the Kalinga tribe, All right? So if you're done watching the video, or while you're watching the video, let's see the instruments in the Kalinga. Kalinga Ensemble is a group of instruments that uh, was played or that were played by the Kalinga people. The first instrument is a tongatong or tongatong. Tongatong is a stamping tube. As you can see in the picture, these are uh, tubes in various lengths or various sizes. And it comes from the shortest to, to the longest tube. How does it differ? Why does it have a smaller one and a larger one? Okay, so maybe this one, or maybe you're thinking it is um, because of the sound. Yes, it's correct. It changes the pitch of each tube. If, it is the, it, if it's the smallest, the higher the pitch it has. If it's longer or the longest, it has the lowest or the lower sound. Same and applies with all the instruments. If the sound of the instrument or if the instrument is bigger, the sound is lower. If the instrument is a bit smaller, it is, or the pitch of it has higher or smaller pitch. Okay, that's why on the next instrument is the patatag. Have you seen this in the video? Patatag is like a xylophone, but separated, as you can see. Unlike the xylophone of the West, that they have one person to play a xylophone, patatag will play it by group. Okay, um, one person can play two to three patatags or one only. And you will use sticks to hit those bamboo xylophone. It comes with different sizes or lengths again so that it will have different notes. Next will be gangsa. Gangsa is the only non-bamboo instrument in the ensemble. It is a gong, a, a thin surface gong that you can handheld or you can put it on your lap while you play. If you have seen the video, um, they also use this as a group of gangsas only and accompanies a dance in their tribe, right? Next will be bungkaka. Bungkaka is a bamboo buzzer and it, um, they believe that this buzzer used to be or used to drive evil spirits away. So these are some of the beliefs of this tribe that um, we have to respect, right? That we have to respect. And um, these are their um, tradition and culture that we must respect. So this bukaka comes with different lengths again. So from the longest to the shortest. 
And next will be patagguk or patangguk. Is it's a bamboo quill shaped tube, as you can see, with different lengths and with a wooden block, a small wooden block. You hit the patangguk with the wooden block and it will create a sound. So most, uh, all of these are percussion, right? Next will be another instrument, the tongari or tongari, a bamboo nose flute. If you say nose flute, it uh, must be played using nose, not your mouth. So you use an air or you use the air from your nose to produce or blow the air to produce sound. Paldong is a lift valley flute and you use your lip and blow your air downwards to create a sound. So these are the um, airy instruments or the woodwind instruments in the ensemble. Next will be Ulibao or the Kubing in the other provinces. They have the bamboo joss heart. It's like this. So I have one. It's, um, it's a bit small, unlike the others. And you have to play it using your mouth. Unfortunately, my, um, my ulibao is broken. So you will not hear the buzzing sound of this. But once you take the pointed part of the ulibao and put it on your mouth and make sure that your tongue is uh, in the proper position like this and then pick it, it will produce a buzzing sound. So this, this is also to drive spirits away. Some of the instruments accompanies dances, rituals, some um, beliefs to drive spirits away, ceremonies, and other occasions. So very um, versatile it is. Next is a gay pod. This is also the paldong, the lift valley. So it comes with different lengths. It, I think it um, has the same length with um, the, the ulibao or shorter than ulibao. And it's like a flute, but the holes are separated and played by a group, right? It's very cute because um, you just don't play all the holes, but with others and communicate with others. Play it together, right? And lastly is the kulitong or the deo deo as in the video. It is the only string instrument in the ensemble. And how creative was that? Because... This Kalinga people created this beautiful instruments, but this one is a bamboo, but they made it a string instrument. How creative was that? And um, let's appreciate that these instruments are very unique if you will compare it to others. That's why even it's just made from bamboo, they still created beautiful sounding instruments. Do you agree? So if you have questions or clarifications regarding this ensemble, you can just message me through the Canvas inbox or through my email, erica.javier at dlsu.edu.ph. Therefore, as what Dr. Michael Gonzalez, an historian, anthropologist, and an educator at City College San Francisco, said, Kalinga are proud of their solidarity and struggled hard to keep their independence and cultural integrity. Until now, in our present times, Kalinga or Kalinga people are still doing this kind of tradition. And I hope even we're in the modern period, we still manage to um, see what's with our provinces, what's with the Philippines. Before we go on to the next level, we, before we go on to the other countries, let's see first what's in the Philippines. What are the provinces that really are proud to share what music, what art, what dances, what music, what um, um, art forms they have in their own towns or provinces. I hope um, it's not um, just appreciating what they have, but it's also sharing this to others, especially to those who doesn't know this kind of music because we just know guitar, we just know piano, but we have our own, our own Filipino music. Let's appreciate and let's share it to others. And your for assignment for next week for your PT number one, please 
um, prepare for two cylindrical containers like a Pringles can or any cylindrical cans that you can use in any lengths or it can be both lengths but uh, it depends on me. And another one is one piece of cloth or any rug that you can use to um, cover the floor and um, you will hit those cylindrical containers on it to produce a sound. So we will be improvising the tonga tong instrument. And for your recording, make sure to have one device of, um, for video recording so that we, you will show your faces on how, or your slopes on how you will play these instruments. Again, thank you and goodbye, Osalians.